<laughs> City Farmer TV uh, with Maria, the bug lady, and Andrea, the chef from Bishops. <laughs> Maria is talking about the ladybugs on her aphids. Well, as we well her, know, yeah, we've got lots of uh, fava beans growing this year. Beautiful little flower that they are, and um, they get covered in aphids, little black aphids, and it's kind of a little. A little bit of work, but the ladybugs definitely take care of it, and that's what we were just talking about here. If you kind of look up the stem of this, you know, we've got fava beans starting to kind of form. The flowers kind of fading, and then I think about eight or nine ladybugs. Ladybugs in there. Mating and uh, enjoying the almost summer sunshine. <laughs> <laughs> so you wanted to ask Andrea something that she would do with fava beans, right? What you'd, how you'd... Yes, how I guess being the chefs at Bishop's... Any ideas for people? What you'd do? <laughs> fava fava beans. beans! Well, there are so many things you can do with fava beans. Yeah. Uh, purees, you know, like you had mentioned before, we love using those because the color is so intense mm. and amazing, so you could treat it like a hummus, or you could treat it uh, like you might, you know, do a mashed potato almost by adding uh, mm. you know olive oils or creams that sort of thing to it um, they're great sauteed with other vegetables put in pastas if you were to check into as uh, any sort of Italian cookbooks you might have I'm sure you'll find all sorts of recipes for um, uh, fava beans in that sort of pasta and soup and do usage. you use them at the restaurant we sometimes do, you do yeah, absolutely and where would you get them um, just your supplier, your organic supplier, or somewhere? Uh, yeah, we get uh, we get the bulk of them from uh, Natty at Hazelmere Farms. Yeah. Uh, her her husband uh, Gary was really passionate about fava beans, yes. and he would uh, do his seed saving every year. And he ended up with um, create basically um, taking the largest seeds from every harvest and getting unbelievably massive uh, fava beans. Now you say the, the thing you dislike <laughs> most about the fava beans is these black aphids, aphids in here. Yeah. And then do you know what he did to combat them? Did he have, or he never told you a secret? You know, I never, I've never asked. Right. <laughs> I just assume, you know, obviously it's part of nature, but... Uh, and they don't affect, Maria, the, the actual finished product, right? When you had I your... didn't think so, but I was kind of... I mean, my beans aren't that big yeah. either, right? And um, I think it's a variety too, because I had two varieties last year, and these ones seem to really do, a, they were way more aggressive, but they're, you do have to boil them and then peel them, right? Yeah. So bigger <laughs> is an easier way to peel them. Yeah, definitely. Uh, if you're going to peel them, the big ones are much uh, easier to work with, but um, there's so many different varieties. I've got some planted in my garden that I actually some seeds from you know Italy and uh, they're they're actually darker in color and quite small mm. and um, yeah there's a lot of different varieties out there for different applications and the small ones you just you cook them with the shell on and they're just beautiful and buttery thank you yeah. so much both of you <laughs> <Yay, fava> beans. <laughs>